Okay, we continue the select tab and you're going to explain selection here. Click and drag to separate this menu. Here you can select all curves. As you can see, all curves are separate or the curve that include to uh, create object with that. All of curve selected here. <clears throat> here you can select the short curve. As you can see, the software tell you, please select the maximum length of the curve to selection. For example, I select 60 and type 60 and hit enter. As you can see, the software select the curve that under the 60 lengths. They're smaller than 60, 60 centimeter lengths and select it. From here, you can uh, specify the length. Simply click your curve, going to the analyze and select the length. Here, it's your curve length. You can specify your length here. That I will be explaining the analyze tool in detail. Don't worry. Here is open curves. Simply you can select all open curves. Here is a closed curve or self curve or everything that closed curve we select. Poly. Polyline. As you can see, there are broken edge that are polyline. You can select line curve like this. I will be explaining all of the line tool here. You can create all kind of line here. Here you can select by line type. I have to explain the line type in its order. Don't worry. You can select them by. But here we are faced to new thing in a Rhino that called planar curve as like before planar surface. What is a planar curve? The planar curve are straight, not bent. For example, it's not important. There are there are there have to be a straight in a plane. As you can see, it's not important there are um, like a curve or polyline. As you can see, if you <coughs> select the planar curve, they select all the curve because they're all planar. But this curve, look at this curve coming here. Sorry. As you can see, this curve, select that, this curve has in a 3D, is, is in a 3D space. It's bent in 3D space. It's not planar curve but those are planar as you can see you can rotate them not important but as you can see they are in a, they are in a straight line in a plane it does not matter they are curved and bending and pulling on. just we, they have to be uh, not bending in a 3d mode like this as you can see it is curvy mode but it's bending 3d so this is not planar curve okay i hope you understand that it's very easy this is called planar curve it's important if for example you going here and change its uh, for example <clears throat> point like this and as you can see it's not planar curve anymore okay this tool is it actually it's not selection it's actually a tool when you click that you can shorten and for example a curve that's a tool for example shorten this tool that's a tool that's it's in a curve tool that i have explained there it's, i don't know why it is lucky but it's a tool actually you can select self inter intersecting curve as you can see for example this curve is turning back to uh, its position when you select that you can select it has an intersect intersect with itself here as you can see it's a cause a lot of problem modeling we have to be aware of that and as, as I said before in a previous lesson, we can select sub-friendly curves that we don't have any sub-friendly curve in this scene. Refer to the previous lesson to understand what is sub-friendly curve. 
Okay, this is select curves and you uh, understand you learn new thing about the planar curves. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.